Follow you through the dark and get enough. Yo, what's good, Tristan and Tristan fam? So today, Portugal the man accuses the Jonas Brothers of stealing their song. Right before we get started, check me out on Instagram and Twitter. Let's go. So I've seen a bunch of different articles pop up lately. Portugal the man accused Jonas Brothers of copying Feel It Still. Portugal the man accused the Jonas Brothers of copying Feel It Still. St uh, okay, they're all using the same exact headline. <laughs> Isn't that ironic that the that these news companies are using the exact same headlines as of each other, accusing someone else of copying? Anyway, here's what Portugal the Man tweeted out. To be fair, the chorus of Feel It Still sounds similar to Please Mr. Postman by the Marvelettes, which we respectfully cleared and thanked them for every chance we got, as one does at Jonas Brothers. So they're suggesting that just like they apparently ripped off another song in their own words. I don't really know the, the deal with that. Now they're sort of passive aggressively accusing the Jonas Brothers of ripping off their song. And look, I actually made the claim in my video when I first originally reacted to Sucker that these two songs do kind of sound similar. And I actually was, I think I might've been the first person to say that. So, you know who this reminds me of actually? This reminds me of Portugal the Man. Y'all know that 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 group that's like, uh, what is the song? I, I'm a rebel just for kicks now. Come At on. least publicly. I might have even said it before this tweet. I did say it before this tweet. Oh my god. Maybe they watched my video. <laughs> uh, maybe Portugal the Man is looking up average, mediocre, overrated vocal coaches on YouTube to try and get out for the music. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so I definitely heard the similarities, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna listen to both songs side by side and see if there are any similarities, and maybe Portugal the Man is right. Let's take a look. Say the word and I'll go anywhere blindly. So it starts out with a very heavy, groovy bass line, and then, uh, like, super upbeat, some super upbeat drums with a lot of like, what are those, hi-hats? To kind of keep this light and energetic feeling to it. No kicks, no snares that I can hear. And it kind of just adds a clap. And of course, I'm gonna focus primarily on the vocals here because of course, <laughs> I'm a vocal coach. <laughs> I'm a dummy, I'm not just. So entirely in falsetto. And I'm coming out of left field. Entirely falsetto through the vert, through the beat intro into the this, this chorus here. In terms of instrumentation, there's a definitely like a little bit of a saxophone back there, and then you've every once in a while got this like little bit of a grunt or a hey that kind of reminds me of Austin Powers. <laughs> Still the groovy bass line. Groovy baby! Into the verse, we're still in falsetto with the vocals. Okay, we get the, we get the idea. Let's take a listen to Jonas Brothers. We go together. So here's the similarity. We do have Nick Jonas singing in falsetto in the beginning alongside a groovy bass line. Although their bass line is a little bit more sparse, whereas Portugal the Man's bass line was more energetic. Portugal the Man also sound started out with a very energetic drum beat. Me, we'll change the weather. Where this is more groovy and chill. I've been dancing on top of cars. Okay. <laughs> So, Portugal the man, their vocals, first of all, was one singer singing the whole way through. Second of all, there's no chest voice in the entire song, anywhere. Chest voice being like sort of the place that you speak from, or like, hey, call out from. And falsetto being more like the like, when guys sing or speak in falsetto, it can tend to sound a little bit girly. I'm just trying to give you guys some like, I'm not trying to be sexist here. <laughs> I'm just trying to give you guys like an easy way of thinking about these things. Almost like Mickey Mouse, how about that? There's sort of a Mickey Mouse sound behind it. Respect women. This is completely different. Vocally, it's completely different. There's some similarities in terms of like a, a bass line and like a little bit of drums being in the first, like the intro of the song, but he's doing something completely different with his voice. Completely different. And also the melody 
of the songs is nowhere near the same. Uh, follow you through the dark. Follow you through the dark and get enough. Is where this guy's coming from. And the other dude, I'm a rebel just for kicks now. Got me feeling in 1966 now. They're two completely different vocal styles. Like they're not even remotely similar. Harmonies, there's no harmonies in Portugal The Man song. I'm kind of coming for Portugal The Man here. I love them and I love their music. I just think that this tweet, so far as I can tell, is like unreasonable. Like, why would you come for Jonas Brothers like that? Tattoo inside my brain, and maybe you know it's obvious. I'm a sucker for you. So there's a little bit of similarities again here, kind of. Like, yeah, Nick Jonas is leading into the chorus with like falsetto, <laughs> but nobody owns falsetto. Sean Mendes also has a song called Nervous where he's singing the chorus primarily in falsetto. A little bit nervous. But that, there, no, you can't have ownership on singing in falsetto. I'm a sucker for The other thing too is that was the pre-chorus into the chorus while Portugal the man they are in falsetto all the way through I love this song while they're in he's in falsetto the whole way through there's no switch there's no transition it's just straight up pure Mickey Mouse the whole way through the song the Jonas Brothers on the other hand falsetto from Joe Jonas here but then he switches from oh and then he starts to belt in this particular section, switching back into his chest voice or his speaking voice or his calling out voice. Falsetto. Falsetto. And then he's gonna switch. And so now he's in his normal voice. So like not mechanically with the voices, they're completely different. Stylistically with the voices, they're completely different. And as far as I can tell, the instrumentation is very different. The song doesn't have, doesn't have a saxophone. It doesn't have Austin Powers. <laughs> <laughs> it's much more heavy on the guitar. Like the bass line, the groovy bass line is almost non-existent in this chorus. There's whistling in this. There is no whistling in Portugal the Man's song. Not only that, but the, the tone of their falsetto is very different. Nick is going for more of like a breathy, airy falsetto. And Portugal the man is going for more of like a nasally almost, I can't think of a better word, but more of a feminine sounding falsetto. So like stylistically, technically, mechanically, these are two different approaches to the, the same part of your voice, right? They're both singing in falsetto, but they're both doing it in very different ways. Let's take a listen to the bridge between the two of them and see if there's any similarities there. He's still in falsetto. And a little bit of like a repetitive, like almost electro, more modern sounding thing going on here. And then a creepy laugh, okay. Back into the chorus. All right, let's check out Jonas Brothers. I'm a sucker for you. Whistling. Drum solo. Pretty cool drum solo too. Those are the bridges. Those are there. There is almost nothing similar between these two songs. Oh my lord! They both have falsetto, and they both kind of have retro feel to them. But vocally, in so many different ways, they're so dissimilar. Melodically, there's there's no similarities. Like the melodies are completely different. I can see where Portugal the Man is coming from because I made the same connection. It sounds influenced by Portugal the Man, but I think tweeting about it and trying to call them out is potentially taking it a step too far. In Portugal the Man's defense, they did say in response to a tweet saying, hey guys, genuinely curious, are you mad at the Jonas Brothers? They said not mad at all, actually dig a lot of their music and Nick's solo records. So <laughs> even that sounds a little bit passive aggressive because they're saying dig a lot of their music, but they don't dig the current song. But anyway, yeah, I do think that they sound similar, but there are definitely cases like where I have heard one band or one group accuse another group of copying them where I can absolutely agree. For example, Lana Del Rey was, I think last year, um, accused of copying Creep by Radiohead. Just 
Like they had very similar melodies. In fact, the melody was almost exactly the same in a lot of places. Similar chord progressions and a similar like feel to the song. And I could totally see how you could go from one and say, oh yeah, they definitely took the same melody. They definitely took the same chord progression. They definitely took all these same elements and used it for the song. I can see that. I'm not sure that Lana Del Rey should have gotten sued for that. I think that might be a little bit of a stretch. I kind of think it's crazy when artists sue each other over things like that because art of course it's supposed to influence and evolve, draw inspiration from other people's work, and as long as it's something different, <laughs> I don't see why there needs to be that that battle if the, the bands are already doing pretty well financially, especially. But anyway, I could totally see that connection between those two songs. This is a completely different situation because vocally there's nothing similar or there's very little similar. And in terms of the instrumentation, there's very little similar. I just don't see it. I just don't think it's fair. But anyway, hopefully this is just my opinion. This is just my perspective. I don't dislike Portugal the Man. I don't dislike Jonas Brothers. I actually enjoyed this kind of video and I enjoyed this kind of a call out because it gives me the opportunity to talk about this and it gives me content. <laughs> you can't ever be upset when someone gives you content. And it was really fun going through them and, and trying to decide what the differences were and what the similarities were. I do think that the Jonas Brothers probably got inspiration from Portugal the Man, but I don't think that you need to give credit every time that you get either conscious or unconscious inspiration from someone. Like you don't see The Weeknd <laughs> saying, thank you, Michael Jackson. I just don't think that that's necessary. Anyway, hopefully y'all like this video. If you did like this video, sign up for Uber. Link in the description. Sign up for Audible. 30 day free trial. Link in the description. <laughs> and check me out on Instagram and Twitter. Until next time, Tristans and Tristfam. Peace out.